Hi Aquarius, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading, welcome. The first cards that we have out, we have King of Pentacles, we have Knight of Wands. All right, and we also have 10 of Cups here. It looks like you're looking forward to something as both the King of Pentacles and also the Knight of Wands are looking ahead to the Ten of Cups. What this can mean, with King of Pentacles, it puts you in a position where there can be something going on where like your job can be coming up or roles that you play. So it can be like if you have a certain role within like a partnership or within a family or within um it can really be anything at all i see king of pentacles as being just something that we do in general where there are certain like rules and obligations or ways that we want to show up and about doing a quality job with whatever that is so whatever sort of standard that you have set for yourself like when i show up and i'm playing this role this is what i expect of myself and that's what makes it doing this this and this allows me to feel like I'm doing a good job with that, you know, like I'm doing what I feel like I need to be doing in order to be competent here, like that sort of thing. King of Pentacles can also be, it's surrounding things that you find valuable and resources and whatnot. So anything that you see as being a resource that you care about, it can also have to do with those things. King of Pentacles can also have to do with you being able to be independent in the ways that you want to and whatever you would need in order to support that. King of Pentacles can also indicate too that as much as your own independence can sort of fall under the umbrella of this, there can also be others that rely on you either for resources, it can be relying on you to pay something, but it can also just be like relying on you to show up or relying on you to do something, you know, or to be there. It just depends on sort of like what you've signed up for. But yeah, that's what I see. If you can sort of see it as like if if an actor is on stage, the King of Pentacles is like the role that one plays and all of that in all of what that entails and what comes with it and whatnot. But it can also be like aspirations that you have for yourself, like when you play that certain character. Now also too, having Knight of Wands here, it shows that this can add a little bit of excitement to something. So King of Pentacles is more like the slow and steady vibe of like, I'm showing up here. This is something important that I'm doing. I'm reliable. Somebody that is going to follow through on what they're doing, on what they're saying. But there can be like a more slow energy because Pentacles are more slowly unfolding how they manifest. But now that we also have the Knight of Wands here, this can show that there's something like... An opportunity that you're going to be taking advantage of or something that you're moving towards and you can feel like this will benefit you the part of you that is the king of pentacles so you can look at something and be like i feel like i would re be really happy like doing that job or playing that role or like this is a great opportunity for me to meet a need that i have but this is going to be something that's internally motivated because the ten of cups is here this can also be just an opportunity that you feel really happy about or that you're looking forward to if it's not happening now. This can be you you doing things that are so you can feel good with things or just anything that you feel like your soul is calling you towards with the Ten of Cups. Because you will feel that even though external things can definitely matter, because King of Pentacles can indicate you do have certain responsibilities and obligations that you need to show up for. It can also be fun with the Knight of Wands. It can also be inspiring. It can also be exciting. It can also be motivating. You know, it kind of like adds that fire into things, which brings a little bit of like chaos and excitement, not in an ungrounded type of way, because we do have King of Pentacles here, but more so in a way where there's a a feeling excited about things and having like a mission it can feel like that sort of thing so yeah it doesn't just feel like every day i'm showing up and it's kind of mundane having the night of wants here feels like it adds this excitement to things
I'm seeing Six of Swords here. I'm also seeing Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is when you're making moves that are based off of what you feel inspired to do, especially from a standpoint of feeling. So it's like tuning in, what's my intuition telling me or what am I feeling right now and sort of basing it off of the present moment and what's going on. And to also see to also see the Six of Swords here. Six of Swords indicates that you could have been going through a time that was feeling like a struggle or it was feeling difficult or you could have felt like your mind was really busy or you could have been preoccupied or worried or just like trying to figure something out, trying to work something out. Six of Swords indicates that things are getting better, that you're moving forward. So if you had been feeling stuck or something hadn't been moving or you didn't know what was going to be happening, can be a time where you actually see that movement happen. And I am seeing Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which can mean that things are very much going in a direction that you hoped for them to go. Out of the six cards that we have so far, there are four court cards. What this can mean is that, like, yes, this can all be your energy, but this can also be a bunch of people that are involved in this. We have King of Pentacles, we have Knight of Wands, we have Knight of Cups, and we also have Page of Cups. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like there was an intuitive move that you needed to make and this can be something that transcends just I'm being practical right now or I'm like using my logic because the king of pentacles is you looking at things in a way where it's like what makes sense and there can be a methodology to it but then also having the page of cups here there can be something extra that's added to why you're doing things and how you're doing things kind of like going off of feelings that you're getting that's not to say that the logic goes out the window the page of cups will just be an added thing that you're using kind of like another tool that you're using to determine moves that you're making how you're seeing things the way that you're weighing things what you see as being important what to focus on especially when it comes to plans, what you feel moved in the direction of. I'm seeing some type of plan because the Ten of Cups is here. This means that the choice is being made based off of what you feel like you'll actually feel happy with. Something that will matter to you on an internal level. So this isn't just like it looks good to that person over there. This is something that's going to feel good to you. And that's why there's also this excitement about it too, because your soul is like, this is something for me too to be involved with. This also looks like it's going to be a stable situation for you. I'm seeing four of wands come out. Four of wands is like the four pillars of something where you're going to be putting your energy into something that's been sort of like equalized or leveled out and you also will feel very happy with it. All right. There would have been an intuitive knowing about this. Yeah, this can be something where, so we start with King of Pentacles and we end with Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands can be needing to sort of back yourself up when it comes to what you're doing. And having Page of Cups over here and having Six of Swords over here can mean that there's a very in touch way that you are moving through things. So 
So like if there had been stuff that you were worried about, if there had been something that was going on that was feeling kind of rough or just a way that you wanted things to get better or you wanted to be able to move forward, feels very much like a tuning in in order to navigate that, in order to find the sense of direction. So this isn't just looking at the map and being like that's the that's the way or that's the shortest way there's also this connecting with a feeling of maybe even though that route might be the most logical one i'm getting a feeling about this one over here and so i think that i'm going to take that it will be like that type of thing that's being integrated into the process i'm seeing there be a huge excitement about the plan and you can also feel very bold with this you can feel like there's a, a high level of motivation that you have to move in this direction and also too because it's something that feels internally gratifying for you and it feels like it's somewhere that is going to be very accepting of what you have to give energetically. What can also happen with this, having King of starting with king of pentacles and ending with seven of wands this can mean potentially that you have to show up for something or you have to stand up for something or you could possibly be challenged a little bit but i see seven of wands as needing to do what you want to do i see seven of wands as a card of fortitude and having King of Pentacles here, it shows that you have, you're have you very level-headed when it comes to the stuff that you're doing. Right now, you're showing up in a level-headed energy where you're making choices. It's not just like random how you're doing stuff. There's a method to this, and this is a wise choice, having King of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles is also somebody that's seasoned and you also like know what's at stake and you know what you're responsible for too. So there's an understanding of that. So if you look at something and it feels important for you to do, this is an encouragement for you to not back down and for you to move forward with this and know that things are going to work out. When it comes to what you're sharing, you can be feeling like this is more of a a private practice of yours that you're doing here with the knight of cups and with the high priestess this can be like i'm sort of keeping things to myself as i'm figuring it out or i'm really making moves based off of what i'm getting as far as insight the callings that i receive For those of you that you're not out of a situation yet or it hasn't moved forward yet, it feels like there's been reassurance that things are going to get moving. So in case that hasn't happened yet, I am seeing that things are going to move forward. You have to keep also like tuning in and listening to what your intuition says. To have the High Priestess here, however it is that you connect with that part of yourself, so you can understand what's going on energetically that is going to be helpful high priestess can be so many different things but it can be less it can be more nuanced ways of doing things it can be like having tarot doing tarot and then figuring out what to do or using astrology and figuring it out or communicating with your guides or doing it by synchronicities it will be that type of way of figuring things out and moving through so it can be like a less commonly taken path that the high priestess takes, but it's also something that has wisdom within it. And if you're reading things and interpreting things properly, it ends up being the key and it gives you answers, even in ways that you couldn't have possibly known, but you did because the information was available to you and you interpreted it properly. So that's how that can work for you. I think that this also shows that you you sort of tuning into the part of you, uh, the part of yourself that is beyond just the 3D and bringing that back to apply it to something 3D that's going on with the king of pentacles it feels like inspired action that's being taken feeling the fire within you about the next steps that you're going to take this is definitely something that you're going to be pleased with 
to have 10 of cups, 10 of cups is something that you feel very happy with. It feels good. It feels right. It's sort of that sensation that you've been seeking, that feeling that you've been seeking. I'm making a choice that's bringing about this feeling like things are all right, like this is how they're supposed to be. And then also having four of wands. Four of wands is a card of celebration. Four of wands is a card of getting to a place after having worked things out. It's also a card that speaks about things stabilizing too. So it can be basically a foundation that's being built for more things to be built on top of it. And that is the direction that you are moving in. I want to clarify one of the cards quickly though. I want to clarify the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, this can be about messages that you're receiving and stuff that's coming up that you've been finding your way through to interpret to sort of help help you navigate this situation. I'm seeing something too about finding the right balance. Yeah. Things having to do with your values can also be part of this too. Practical side of things, emotional, intuitive side of things, and then actually feeling happy and excited and motivated with the plans that you're making. So that being even something in itself. Also too, with Knight of Cups and the High Priestess, this can be this can mean that you're being mindful with what it is that you're expressing and what it is that you're communicating to. So not just like saying anything or saying whatever. There can be an awareness and a discernment when it comes to things that you're saying, what you're communicating, moves that you're making, that stuff. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.